Uh, yeah, my name is Andy Stotts. I'm a fire captain with the Oceanside Fire Department. I've gotten into the 3D printing and I found that I can use it in a lot of different aspects here at the fire department. I used to do a lot of metal fabrication and stuff like that and then, you know, you, you make a prototype and then you basically have to start over. And with this, I can take and do a low infill, quick print and see if it's going to work before I actually build it for strength or whatever the use is. That's what really interested me is the ease to design stuff. The guys will come to me and tell me they're having issues. Uh, one example was their EKG monitors. The leads always get tangled up when they're putting them back in the uh, pouches and stuff. And the guy came to me and said, hey, can you make something like this to hold these EKG leads so they won't get tangled? And if they are tangled, you can just slide it down the EKG leads. Labels for our radios or our microphones with the guy's names on them so that you want to find one out there in a rig, you know whose it is. Our narcotics and drugs, they have to be double locked in a secured spot because they're a controlled substance. And in the past, we kind of had different people trying to tape them in there, put a little foam in there, and it never really worked to secure them. And so I went ahead and designed a tray that goes into our little lock box here so that we can securely keep them in there. The labels used to get wore off and stuff like that. Now we don't have that issue. The microphones on our headsets, the little knobs break off. I've replaced the knobs with 3D printed parts on the visors for the apparatus bay doors. They usually come with just a little metal bracket on there to go onto the visor. Well, the visors are thicker than a normal car visor, so they're always getting stretched out and constantly falling off. So a guy asked me to go ahead and print a clip to hold it on there. In one of the exercise bicycles, they have straps on the pedals that hold the, your feet in place, and one of those broke. So I used our flexible Ninja Flex type material at the TPU and made some replacements for those. So just little things, day-to-day -day things, oxygen tanks. Most of them we have handles on them, but maybe you'll go to a, a residence where they're having issues with their oxygen tank and they don't have a handle. It's a 3D printed little handle that we can carry in our pocket so you can actually turn the oxygen on or off. My fire helmet, uh, one of the guys came to me and this is our brush helmet that we use for wildland firefighting. And at night, obviously you need to be able to light up the area. These lights that we use, they normally just come with like a little strap on them. And if you leave it on your helmet, they get turned on, the batteries run down, so I'm going to go to use it. Um, this, I made a sliding clip here so it just slides right on and you can still put it up or down. I also made a secondary clip. We have a harness for our brush gear. So if for some reason you don't want it on your helmet, you can go ahead and just slip it on and click it onto your brush gear that way. And this is just something else. Like I said, people come to me with designs and then I just engineer it to work. You know, when you're going on a fire, you don't have time to check everything. It needs to be all checked out and you've got to be ready to go. On the rigs, we have normal door locks, just like on a car, the little pegs. Well, a lot of times when you go to the fire and you're reaching around or something, you hit that door lock with your elbow. So now you get on the fire and you're trying to get out of the fire truck and the door's locked. So it's just one other little step you got to take to unlock the thing. So I made little things I call no locks. And they just snap right onto the door lock and you can put your hand on it all day long and it's not going to lock on you. So when you get to the scene of the fire, accent, whatever, you can open the door and get out. So little things like that, yeah, they make it a little easier for me. Maybe it's just me, you know, maybe I'm the only one who locks it, but everybody else that I've talked to says, yeah, I want one of those for my engine. A lot of this stuff has been designed by other people in the department. The 3D printing has just allowed me to help out. I enjoy doing it, so it makes my life fun when I have to fix something versus just buying a part and then have to replace it, which is more of a chore, when I can actually be part of it and say, hey, you know what, I'm gonna make this better. I think it's unlimited to where it can go, what it can be used for. It's just made life easier on me. I don't know, I'm excited to see where it's gonna go.